17-year-old Brycey Bassey and her mother Carletta are suing Tatum Hood for damage to their vehicle. Brycey says she was picking up her sister from school when Tatum hit her car. Quiet in the courtroom, please. All rise. Now, this is case number 137 on the calendar in the matter of Bassey versus Hood. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Have Who was driving? You weren't there? No. You're her mom? Yes, I'm her mother. She looks like she can take care of herself. If she can't, you can't help her because you weren't there. Okay. Okay. Miss Bassey, according to your complaint, you and the defendant got into sort of an altercation. You were going to pick up... My little sister. Your sister in mm -hmm. school, and you were going to pick up... My son. Your son. And as a result of that, it is your claim that the defendant damaged your car. The defendant says that your poor driving was the result of the damage to your car, and you actually ran into her car. That's your defense. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Pull that a little bit closer to me so that I can see it a little bit better up here, Bird. Miss Bassey, you're the red car. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Go mm -hmm. over and put your finger over there, please. That's where you were coming from, and you were making a left turn into the parking lot? Yes, ma'am. And the defendant was coming straight? She was coming straight, and she didn't have a signal on. She was, like, right here where the curb is, where the driveway ends, and then she decides all of a sudden to... Oh, I need to turn. And so when she turns, no. she comes. Shh, don't, don't speak. She comes and she turns so close to the curb. And I'm about to turn thinking she's about to pass by. So I stop to prevent from hitting her because it's a very congested area. And she turns in and then I turn in after her. Well, so far you understand she had the right of way. Yes, ma'am. You did not. So, okay. And what happened next? I honked at her. Why? Well, because she didn't. I honked at her because she didn't use her signal. Well, that's not a nice thing to do, Miss Bassey. That's not an appropriate thing to do. She had the right of way. So right there, you were wrong. You had no right to honk at her because she had the right of way. Whether you think she had a signal on or not, she says she did. It doesn't make any difference. In a congested road, and you're going across two lanes of traffic coming from the opposite direction, and she is on the side of the road where she can make a right turn into that spot, She's got the right of way, so, A, that's one for her team. You had no right to honk the horn. So what happened after you honked the horn? Um, we pull up into the driveway area. We're right here where you pick up all the kids. And um, I honked twice to get my little sister's attention. When I honked twice, she thought I was honking at her. Again? I, yes, she thought I was honking at her again. Well, now, now let me ask you this question. How many kids are outside? A lot. What do you think it would be like, Miss Bassey, if everybody honked their horn a couple of times to get their little sister's attention. Well, yeah, I mean... I mean, she... is there something wrong with your legs? Well, no, she wasn't that... Just listen. Was there something wrong with your legs? There was nothing wrong with my legs. Then if there's nothing wrong with your legs, you stop the car, and you get out of the car, and you say to your little sister, here I am. You don't sit in your car and honk the horn. We're going to go step by step. I haven't gotten to her yet, because I have a feeling you didn't behave reasonably either, because mm -hmm. I read your answer. No, ma'am. And it's amazing to me that two women, you know, usually it's the guys that get into this, these jock wars, but two women behaving badly? How old are you? 17. Well, you better go back to driving school and etiquette school, because so far you're not number one on my hit parade today. So you honked your horn for your sister, and the defendant thought you were again honking at her. That's what you assumed. So what did she do? She flips me off and starts waving her fist behind me. She turns around and she just starts doing the little hand things and yelling. Not a nice thing. Shh, just a second. Not a nice thing to You're do. Right. Okay. So she gestures to you in an obscene gesture. What happens next? Um, I looked at her and I threw my hands up, like trying to say, no, I was not honking at you. And, uh, you know, she's still yelling, yelling, yelling. And I was yelling back at her. I'm like, look, I'm not trying so to So now you're me. yelling at each other? Yes. Good. Go ahead. And then after that, my little sister does see me. And she comes to the side of the car. And uh, the defendant is still very angry that I had honked at her. And, <laughs> you know, we were still arguing with each other. And so at this time, I was trying to move. I had my little sister in the car. I wanted to get out of there. It's very busy. She doesn't move. Well, where's your car? Right here. So you're behind her? Mm-hmm. So she pulls up a little bit, we pull up, and then, you know, she's still mad. And I honked at her again. I'm like, can you please move? All right, so why are you honking? She wouldn't move. Why does she have to move? She could have moved, but why, she was... Now, why does she have to move? Well, her son had already gotten to the car. Look, I'm looking at your car, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing what you did. So you pulled out, according to you, mm -hmm. you pulled out because she's not moving. Mm-hmm. 
And you pulled around her? Yes, after she did it, but no, I got out the car. I even got out the car and said, will you please move? And she's still cussing me out. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Why, Miss Bassey, what? Stop it. Yes, ma'am. Why are you still arguing with her and imploring her to move when all you had to do was drive around her? At the time, there were still cars going. There's a lot of cars still going through. And then when she was free, she, she wouldn't move. I was behind her to a place where I couldn't really squeeze around her this way or squeeze squeeze around her this way but I managed because everybody's picking up their children yes keep going then I did manage to because my car is small enough so I'm like okay maybe I can squeeze around her I was able to squeeze around her and I drove all the way to the over here to the drive area then she comes and she comes all the way she drives over here rolls down her window and said is this the way black people act and I'm like what was that supposed? I looked at her kids in the car and they appeared to be biracial to me. And then I looked at her again. I'm like, what was that what supposed about? to me? Okay. And at this time, yes, I mean, we were cussing each other out. She then says, do you want to fight? And I'm like, do I want to what? And my little sister gets out of the car. What'd she get out of the car for? She, she got out the, she's like, do you want to fight? And my little sister's like, what do you want to what? She got us, she's Just like, what do you want to fight for? Where's the little sister? Step up here. Move over there. What did you get out of the car for? Because at that time, Mrs. Hood had opened her door like she was going to get out. So I'm like, sounds like a perfect reason for you to stay in your car. <laughs> Somebody, according to you and according to your sister, is acting like a lunatic and says, do you want to fight? Doesn't sound like the kind of situation you want to say, sure. Now, what's your first name? Laquise. Laquise, genius. What did you do when you got out of the car? Well, I got out of the car because, you know, by that time I was really mad. And so I guess I wasn't thinking. I got out the car and then, you know, I kind of went over to her car and then... So you kind of went over to her yeah, car? Yeah, by what that, that mean? That means you went over to her car? I walked over to her car. What? I walked over to her car. And what did you say when you walked over and to her car? I really didn't say anything. I was waiting on her. She said she was going to get out and fight. I'm like, is And that's serious? what you were waiting to do. You got out I, of the car to yeah, fight her. I mean, I was going to see if she Ms. was Miss Bassey back there, you should be very proud of them so far. Are you following me? I am. Right? So far, I'm looking at your mother and I'm looking at you two and I got news for you. I don't think that your mother would have reacted the same way that day that you did. Right, Miss Bassey? Yes. Thank you. Judge Judy continues in a moment. When people behave badly and they have no defense for their bad behavior, they infuse racism to try to inflame the fact finder. Listen to me. It doesn't. Tatum claims Bracey and her sister threatened her life. Okay, so after you got out of the car and walked over to Miss Hood's car because she said she wanted a fight, I assume at some point you got back into the car. I walked over back to my sister's car, because, you know, she was about to turn right by then. But then Mrs. Hood hits my sister's car, and I was shocked. I had no time to get back in the car, because that's when she well, turned Well, just a out. minute. Your sister is making a turn from the wrong lane. No. This is to go right. This, I went left after she had to hit my car. I was not even moving when she hit my car. She hit my car on purpose. You mean she plowed into your car, you were standing still? Yes, my car was not in motion. Okay. And you have photographs of this car? Yes, I do. I'd like to see it. Oh, that's a lot of damage. All right, Miss Hood, ball's in your court. Uh, it was January 19th, 2005. May I go over here? I went to the school to pick up my son that's here. I'm the blue car here. I'm coming down Tyler Road. I believe it would be south. She's coming north. She is right here, as she said. It's very congested. There's lots of cars. If she would have been, like on her chart, over here already turning, there was tons of cars coming. Listen I did have my Listen blinker on. Listen to me. She was wrong. I already said okay. she was wrong. Okay. So we turn in. When we turn in at Wilbur, there's also, you could, there's like two lanes like this. I stay in this lane. We never got over here because to get over here, you have to stop up against the school and there's buses and handicap parking. I stayed in this lane. As I was turning, she started calling me all out of my name. She called me a white bee. Go back to driver's ed. Learn how to drive. I'm going to kick your butt. As we stopped, I stopped here. She was behind me. 
She haunt. I thought she number one niki. No halakan we da pe ka idi da. She number one ki. Aw majun wa sar khabar kai. Aw ya pa kal. Aw ya pa voice message wa sar khabar na kai. No da pe ka idi da. She kala wa ta voice u ki. Yara da da bal cha message de. Pe ka idi da. She kala wa ta do dress pe pas wa do yari o voice khurata o ka o zaman umpa ki waakla. نشکل وقت پکی وایس کی دادنم واقعی نبیاد وقت سوی ماشاءالله در خلی آواز دیده بیا یکن رو رو پیدا کیگی نبیاد وقت یه دو درش پی پس وی ویزا کنی و تصویر دیو باس و را ولیگا نج تصویر ولی او باسی و رولیگی نبیاد وقت وی ماشاءالله در خسته تصویر دیده نبیاد یه سوش پی پس دا ویدیو کال تما شروع شی نشکل اتی پو ویدیو کال مانی خبر شروع کی نیوی تو خو ماسیم لی دری مخ مرت پر دوا مخ کلو کا نیچه کلا مخ کلو کی نیو سکرین ریکارڈنگ شروع شی نیچه سکرین ریکارڈنگ کیو کی نیویا وقت پس ابایی کلا با میلایی بو نیچه دم میلایی دو وقت آگه این کارو کی ندیا را هبلک میلینگ شروع شی زبستا تصویران لی کم زبستا ویدیوگانی لی کم ماسر استا ویدیو دا ماسر استا تصویر دی جینه دیتا مجبوره کی نزاما خیان دو تاسو پا کم ہوش کی چپراتی ہے دا ہا وقت نہ دے کم از کم کم از کم دخل رونو اور دخل سپنگیری پلار مور قدر عزت ستاسو پا لاس کے دے نن سبا ہا گا دور نہ دے دا ہا گا دور پاتے شوے نہ دے چلگ عزت تے یو الگ دخل کم کو بلا کتا دخل کور عزت جوڑ کی دخل کور دخل مور دخل پلار دخل رونو عزتونو سر لو بے مکہ ہے دیر خیال کوئے زکا چھاوی ستاسو دا پارا بہر تلی مزدورے کئی مسابرے کئی دل تا تاسو آوی لگولنا مجھوڑا دے دل تا آوی دا تاسو پی غورنا مجھوڑا دے لگ اختیاط کوئے زمان پا دی میسج کو تاسو پیشیوئے مخ کو نورو سر شیر کے چھ دنورو تم پتا ہو لگی